Hello my lovely people and welcome to our channel CCTV Desk. This video has got all your solution with the help of just one protocol and that is ONWIF. In simple terms, ONWIF is like a common language that different brands of CCTV cameras and other security devices use to communicate with each other. Right. So before starting our video, I would like to ask any one of you who haven't subscribed our channel as of yet, please subscribe our channel and watch this video till the very end. And if you find it valuable, please like our video and share your valuable views in the comments. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. So let's start the video. So now, the full form of ONWIF is Open Network Video Interface Forum. ONWIF allows the communication between IP device from different manufacturers. ONWIF is a forum designed to facilitate the compatibility of different IP-based security cameras with NVRs, of course, with from different manufacturers. So we can say that ONWIF was founded to standardize the IP-based surveillance camera industry. Okay, so let's move on. Now suppose you have an NVR of Dahua and a camera of CP+. Now what you need is to make them confirm with each other. You need to make them compliant with each other in order to get the most out of it, right? So here enters ONWIF in the game. Now ONWIF connects these two with each other so that you can enjoy the best of both without concerning yourself with their varied manufacturers. Let's understand this middle ground, this compatibility that ONWIF provides with an easy to connect example. Suppose you bump into a person who belongs to like a different part of the world and obviously they would speak a different language than yours. Uh, suppose they speak Turkish and you speak Hindi. So how on earth will you ever be able to communicate with that person? You have to take help of a middle ground. And in this case, you will be using English, right? If you both can understand and speak English, it would make it really easier for you to enjoy it, to have a conversation with that person. So the same thing is done by ONWIF. ONWIF connects these two devices and we are of a different brand and security camera of a different brand and make it easy for you to enjoy it uh, you can also understand it with the example of a wi-fi wi-fi of a certain brand for so airtel can connect mobile phones or even your windows with different different brands like you can connect your redmi phone you can connect your geo phone you can connect your xiaomi or any other device with that particular wi-fi right so onwith makes sure that cameras from different brands can still work together smoothly right when you see a sticker of onwith compliant on a cctv camera it simply means it can work with other onwith compliant devices and software even if they are made by different companies. For example, you can use a camera from brand X with a recording system from brand Y without any problems. And here your brand X can be Dawa, can be Hikvision, and your brand Y can be like CP+, Tapo, anything. ONWIF provides you this freedom to mix and match different CCTV cameras and other security devices based on your needs and budget, right? So you are not stuck with just one brand's product. You can use any of these products which suits your budget and your need. Suppose you have a CCTV camera from CP Plus and a network video recorder from Dawa. If they are both on this compliant, they can easily talk to each other. You can even view and record footage from the camera using the recording system just like how you can watch videos from any phone on any TV with HDMI. I hope you get it. Now, you cannot do alone with ONWIF. You need to know certain things about ONWIF profiles, right? ONWIF profiles, it is a mixture or a set of features that must be supported by a confirmant device and client. Uh, for example, let's say uh, the profile G it ensures that a client 
that confirms to profile G will work with the device that also confirms to profile G, right? So profiles are sets of specifications that define the functions and inter interoperability requirements for different types of network-based video devices such as security cameras, video recorders, access control systems, and much more. These profiles ensure that devices from different manufacturers can work together seamlessly within a surveillance system. So there is a total of seven profiles. And these are profile A, profile C, profile D, profile G, profile M, profile S, and profile T. Now profile A is used for access control configuration, which means it will help you in giving access Profile A will help you in configuring access rules, credentials and schedules. It will also help you in retrieving information, status and events. It will also help you in assigning access rules, creating schedule and again granting and revoking credentials. Profile C helps you in dealing with door control and access control functions in addition to video streaming function. So it will enable an integration between CCTV systems and access control systems. Profile C is also responsible for event and alarm management. So let's move on to Profile D. Profile D is used for access control peripherals. It is also responsible for actions such as locking and unlocking. Profile D also specifies the interfaces for peripheral input devices and output devices. In the list of input devices, we have biometric readers for fingerprint recognition, cameras for facial detection, token readers for guards and keys, keypads and sensors for lock status and door status, and in the list of output devices, we have locks, displays and LEDs. Now, Profile M is used for metadata and events for analytics applications. It has interfaces for generic object classification and a specified metadata for geolocation, vehicle, license plate, human body, and human face. It supports the streaming of metadata along with video and audio streams and may include information such as motion detection object tracking and other analytics data and it also allows for the configuration of metadata settings so we are not done yet the following four profiles which i am just about to tell you are the ones holding major significance in the industry of cctv and these are profile q profile g profile s and profile d so don't forget to watch our video till the very end. Now Profile Q is helpful in IP-based video surveillance. So this technology is used in all the network cameras, network switches and network monitors. It is also helpful in maintaining the privacy of the client. Now Profile G is used for edge storage and retrieval, which means this profile is extremely useful when we go for IP camera recording. It helps in preserving data on hard disk, SD cards and cloud servers. It is also helpful in bi-directional talk or two-way communication which will enable you to communicate important messages across. In simple terms, Profile G is responsible for configuring, requesting and controlling recording along with receiving audio and metadata stream. Now let's move on to Profile S. So Profile S is the most fundamental and basic profile which is responsible for video streaming and configuration. Of course, it is designed for IP-based video systems. For example, we can monitor it on separate devices like our laptops, smartphones and tablets. Profile S will also give you benefits like configuring, requesting and controlling video streaming over an IP network. Profile S also covers 
on with the specifications for PTZ control that is pan, tilt and zoom, audio in, multicasting and relay outputs. And of course, for confirming devices and clients that support such features. Now, Profile T is used for advanced video streaming. And you can say it's like an advanced version of Profile S, which supports video streaming features such as the use of H.264 and H.265 encoding formats, imaging settings and alarm events such as motion and tampering detection. So it is basically responsible for H.264 slash H.265 video compression. And its other major functions are metadata streaming and bi-directional talk. Now Profile T also covers on with specifications for HTTPS streaming, PTZ configuration, motion region configuration, and digital inputs and relay outputs. So I hope this video will prove to be hopeful, helpful and significant in your quest for an ONVIF profile which really suits you and your needs. And I also hope that you must have understood the true meaning and nature of ONVIF protocol with the help of our this video. So if you find our video helpful, please leave your valuable comments below in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share our channel with your friends and families. So thank you so much for watching our video and we will meet soon in the next video. Thank you.